Hi there. As an order entry person, you would likely be looking for easy and swift order entry. Well, here's how Tailwind TMS can help. Let me take you to our order page listed here under operations. Here, you will see all the orders you are moving, as well as the ability to see orders you have moved in the past. Just before we get to order entry, let me show you a few details on this main page that are very helpful in order management. You will see that each of the orders is color coded, so you will always know the stage that order happens to be moving in. You can turn these stages on or off, depending on the information you want to see. You have quick search abilities right here that will allow you to quickly and easily find any data you might be looking for. And we also have an advanced search function that will allow you to build any type of report you might be looking for with regards to orders that you have moved for your customer. Now let's get to that order entry so I can show you how very easy it is. I'm just gonna click on our create button here. And I can now start populating the details. Here will be a very long list of customers that you have in your database, but there's shortcuts in our software for you, everyone. Simply typing the first few letters of the customer that you're going to work for will allow the software to filter that list out for you. So don't worry about having to look through long lists. You don't have to. Shortcuts are there for you. You can choose the contact that happened to call you about this. You can track a reference number. If the customer gives you a reference or a PO number and they want to see that on their invoice, populating it here will put it on the invoice. The branch will automatically populate through. We are a multi-branch software. The booked by person populates in from whoever is logged into the software so you always know who creates your orders. Account reps and sales reps populate through from the customer record. Those are defaults. But all I have to do now is simply click, click next and the software is going to let me detail what I'm picking up, where it picks up and where it delivers to. So let's just go ahead and move some Acme supplies for this customer perhaps. And maybe we, re we require a van. Again, I simply typed a V there and I get a van. If I type a flat deck, I'm going to get the flat. If I type an F, sorry. If I do a D, then I'm gonna get the double drops or drop decks. Anyway, I'm going back to a van here. And let's just assume we're moving 24 skids and maybe it's 28,500 pounds. You can do partials, full loads, or less than trailer. For this purpose, I'm going to demo a one pick, one drop full load scenario for you. Choosing the place that you happen to be picking the load up from will allow the software to filter out, show you all of those locations that you've already created. You can create locations on the fly. That's a needed function in transportation. Setting the pickup date, pickup time if there is a scheduled appointment, setting any pickup numbers, or shipper notes. Maybe the driver has to check in at the security gate. Whatever that information is, these fields will flow right through to the instruction sheets that you issue your company drivers, uh, owner operators, or carrier partners. Now let's choose a delivery location. Let's deliver this to the Acme store 561. It happens to be in Belvedere with a delivery date, whatever that might be. Again, any reference numbers that need to be quoted by the driver or carrier partner, any delivery notes that need to be put in. The last thing, of course, to setting an order is how much money are you charging the customer for the movement of that order? You can populate it here. You can even add in as many accessorials that might be needed, fuel surcharges, lumper service fees, tarp charges. Let's go ahead and add a tarp charge on this. I know we're moving the load in a, in a van, but just so you can see how easy it is to add your accessorials. I simply add another revenue line and here from my pull down of my revenues, I can now choose that tarp charge so that the software will show that I am charging a tarp on this. 
Once that order is complete, and it's much faster without my explanation, of course, you can now finish the order or you can also dispatch it. I'm going to finish it so then I can populate it on the screen and let you see what it looks like. So the order populates, it has all the details that you've already put in. You have freight charges, tarp charges. When you convert this to an invoice and send it to your customer, all those details will be on the invoice for you as well. So that's how our order entry goes and how easy it is. Um, also, I just want to remind you about the main screen and all the functions that come along with that. Hope that helped. Thank you.